Checking the dust covers are present. Drum is in good condition, no cracks. Inside the wheel, no damage. Rim looks good, sidewall is in good condition. Tread depth is good. Rims are in good condition. Lug nuts and washers are all tight. Bow stems have their caps. Axle, axle is dry, no leaks. Axle cosmetic cap is securely attached to the vehicle. Check the tire pressure. Tire pressure sounds good. Tire pressure on these wheels sounds good. No debris between the wheels and the rear axle. And the second axle, no debris. Okay. Sidewalls look good. Rim condition is good. Lug nuts and washers are tight and secure, no rust streaks. Axle is dry, no leaks. Cosmetic cap secure. Valve stem and caps are present. Frame condition along the bottom is good. Hanger is secure. Checking the power divider and the brake chamber. Good condition, airlines are good. Airbag is inflated, not damaged, no cuts. Axle looks good. Shock is secure, no leaks. U-bolts are tight and secure. Axle looks good and secured to the leaf springs. Inside the wheel, dust covers are present. We could check brake shoe lining with a flashlight. Red, uh, drums are good. Rims are in good condition. Tread depth is good. No debris between the wheels. Rims are flush mounted. No daylight or gap between the rims. Tread is good. Outer sidewall good. No bulges, cuts, tears, deformities. Axles dry, no leaks. Lug nuts and washers are tight and secure. Bow stem and caps are present. And tire pressure. Sounds good. Okay, my hose on this side is secured to the vehicle. Tank doesn't have any damage. Connections all look good. Caps are on the connections. Gauge is good. Glass isn't damaged. And the fluid is present in the gauge. Fire extinguisher is securely mounted to the vehicle. It is charged in the green, ready to go. Uh, trigger pin is in. Pull tab is also attached to the trigger. Okay, this fuel tank on the passenger side, secure. Caps on tight, no fuel leaks. And no fuel on the ground. Tire chain rack is secured to the vehicle. No damage. This side of the bunkhouse. Bunkhouse looks good. Clearance lights are working, lenses aren't damaged, exhaust appears straight, secure, and intact, heat shield is present, windows in good condition, open the door up here, all 
All the controls and equipment appear to be in excellent condition and the area is clean. No issues in there. And the door closes. Weights are clean and visible on the unit. Passenger side door looks good. Blind spot mirror is secure and not damaged. Glass on the mirror is in good condition, not damaged. And the marker lights are working on the mirror. Door looks good. Exhaust, grab handle, secure. Check the exhaust. No leaks, no black set. Behind the steps is the regen system. This is your regen system for the vehicle. So just check your hoses, connections, no leaks, nothing's disconnected, no wires are burnt or frayed, and there's no DEF leaks. Your heat shield for the DEF tank is secure. Your steps are secure as well and in good condition. Air intake on this side of the hood is in good condition and the, clear, the marker lights are working. The hood itself is in good condition. Fender's in good condition. Fender marker signal light is working and the lens isn't damaged. You can also see the right turn indicator on the front is working and the lenses aren't damaged. Front tires in good condition. Sidewalls look good. Rim is in good condition. Check your lug nuts and washers are tight and secure. No rust streaks coming off the stud. Check your hub oil level is good. Set the full mark. And check that your bow stem and cap is present and accounted for. Now we're back to the front of the vehicle where we started. We have one more walk around to do with two light circuits left to check, which are gonna be our four-way flashers and our high beams. So we'll cancel the signal light, activate the four ways, And we'll do our last walk around. Now it doesn't hurt when you're doing this second walk around to check four ways and, and high beams to just kind of scan your unit in case you might have missed something on the first go round. Just kind of ask yourself, did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Usually if you miss something, it kind of jumps out at you. Okay, so at the back of the vehicle, we can see all the four ways are working. Coming up the right side. Four way on the fenders working. And to the front of the vehicle. We can see four ways and high beams are on as well. So this would conclude, conclude your pre-trip walk around inspection of the exterior. Uh, it doesn't matter what order you do this in, as long as you cover everything. Uh, each unit could vary depending on how it's equipped, but uh, this is just a basic uh, pre-trip that you can do on any class three uh, commercial vehicle. Other than that, best to do it in a counterclockwise rotation, cover everything. Start from the top, work your way down, and work inside to outside.